because of weather and all the rest. Join together. Russia. Sorry about that. My name is Theophilus Eze. I am the person to introduce the MCs for this ceremony. The two MCs that will take us through these ceremonies are Engineer Kelechi Obonna. Engineer Kelechi Obonna and uh, Mr. Chinonso Iwabu. Would you come forward, please, and take over here? I'm not here. Um, I can see people are tired, but I'm sure in a few minutes' time, you are going to know that you are in Ibo land at this time around. And you are going to jump and you are going to enjoy the ceremony. So without wasting time, the first thing we have now is opening prayer. Um, we call on Pastor George Kamalo to lead us in opening prayer. Shall we rise as we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the gift of life. We want to thank you for this great opportunity to gather here this evening to celebrate the Inriji Festival 2019. Lord, we pray for your presence to grace this occasion. We pray, O oh God, that you will take control of this event, that everything that has been planned for this event will go according to plan. We now invite your presence, O oh God, to bless this occasion. And we declare it open in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. ceremony. I am standing on the, on the in, I'm standing uh, to present the chairman of this uh, EVG committee, Mr. Teofulus Eze, to tell you to sit back and enjoy the package of goodies we have to offer on this day. And I want to give you a little bit tidbit about what to expect. As you are here today, it means you are in Nigerian grounds. 
And it means that we will, of course, try to showcase the best of our culture. We are going to have our dance. We are going to have our food. We are going to have our entertainment packages. And I want to, of course, warn you ahead of time. If you think you ate before you came, it is, I think I want to tell you to begin now to exercise so that you have enough space to be able to accommodate what you are going to give. Because today, when we are celebrating our EVG, which is, of course, a program that celebrates our industry, our culture, the dignity of labor, we also want to celebrate Yam as the chief crop of the Igbo man. And it means that all the things we're going to have today, all the dishes, we're going to have yam porridge, we're going to have fried yam, we're going to have the chief one, which is what? The yam pounded yam. And of course, for those of you who are watching your weights, you are going to watch the weights after, maybe next week. Today, sit back and enjoy the compendium of uh, what we are going to offer. And we, in the case of the dances, we will also have different um, age groups coming to showcase. We have our women dancing, we are going to have our men dancing, and then we also have our children who are also showcasing our culture. So I just want to just introduce that and tell you to sit back and relax. But mind you, even when you are sitting back and relaxing, when it is time to dance, we expect you to rock the dance floor. We are not coming here to sit and watch. You are coming to also enjoy and being able to participate in what is happening this evening will mean that you are going to join in the participation and dancing is the top, 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 top comedy for this evening. So we want to use the opportunity to thank you for coming and please join us in all the program for the events. Thank you. Um, and I thank to my dear brother, Semi Semi, the senior seminarian uh, who is here with me. Uh, welcome. Thank you very much. Um, I am no other person rather than Honorable Engineer Kelechi Chris Kudos. So when I want to go to um, the managing director Kudos Communications all the way from Nigeria, and I'm here today. Um, by the end of this exercise, we will know the difference between June and July. Um, the next program is there any other item rather than the traditional breaking of cola not. Uh, by our dear humble big father and the high chief in the house, uh, high chief um, Joseph Anedu. But before that time, the president of our association here in Jamaica, Ndibo, na Jamaica, Mr. Paul Wachuku, will come for a color presentation. Because my dear president uh, and uh, the members of the executive, Onubutra in our evil language, we say color does not hear English. So I don't know, but today we say Kola does not hear what? English. But here, okay, thank you very much. The President, Mr. Paul Wachuku, and the Honorable Piarugo, Mr. Etebati Wednesday, they are here with us for Kola presentation. My President, over to you. Good evening, everyone. It's my pleasure to welcome everybody once more to this occasion. As it is customary in Igbo land, when you have visitor in your house, welcome cannot be complete if you have not offered the visitor a cola nut. Same goes to some other tribe. When you go to their place, they will first of all give you water to drink. And I think, I think we have given water to some people. Though if you have not gotten water, you will get water as soon as possible. But on the issue of Kola Nut, it is a ritual that the Igbos celebrate. It is believed that the Kola Nut in Igbo land is being produced by the Yorubas. There's a tribe in Nigeria called the Yoruba tribe. The Kola Nut is produced by the Yoruba tribe, eaten by the Hausa tribe, and celebrated by the Igbo tribe. Yes, sir. So at this juncture, to show our welcome, our heartfelt welcome to all of you who are here today, 
we are presenting the Kula Nod to you as a sign of welcome to this our occasion and we are going to let the MC do the ritual as it is customary to Kula Nod in Igbo land so he is here to do that thank you my president as we have to do justice to the Kula um, nah. come come um, Chief Adadu, before I further receive the caller, on behalf of uh, Her Excellency, uh, what of my head is on the way? On behalf of uh, uh, Her Excellency and all members of the Health High Table and all the countries around, please receive the caller first before we go back to the next program. I will go back to you. Just receive first. Now I don't you. I he didn't say any other thing other than AM says that we should do justice to the Kula. And how are we going to do it? Please, please, and please, if you did not hear the Igbo language, don't be offended. But we'll try as uh, by means of any uh, to, uh, uh, to make sure that you people understand what we are going to do. Chief Adeli, please have a seat. We'll call you back. Before we move ahead, in Igbo, we don't eat alone. I remember here. We don't eat alone. We not eat alone. Yes, so. And I'm blessing our also for the buyers and our father will make it. So, yeah, we do not eat alone, so we share. There is joy in sharing. That's what we're going to do now. And now when you get here, and my team recognize our dear brother, the President General Nigerian Association in Jamaica. Hi, Chief Engineer Chris Udaya, please to the high table because yeah. In Nigeria, we have different states. We have 36 states of, in Nigeria. And within these 36 states, when we break color notes, each state gets a color note. So the color note is going to travel a uh, color note travels so whatever you eat may not travel but our own travels from one state to another state that's what is going to happen now yes so i state one person from abia state yeah thank you very much our general secretary is from abia state and if you are from anambra anybody from anambra here Anybody from Anambra? And when you are Anambra, no here, they will watch you. Oh, my son, oh, no, 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 Yes, sir. I'm the number of the and we have, uh, well, in fact, the way we are going to do this, because I got a state in it, it will take time. I want people from, I want our dear daddy in the Lord, and daddy in everything, and our brother 
um, Pastor Kamalo. One of the you for Jibiko before Mabi I gave them to get them with them Nagadepa. Go to Pastor Kamalo, give him one color. He's our daddy in the Lord. Oh, my Jesus. To a place, wait. He's a man with a double major. I say no one ever. I say no one here. Okay, the archbishop is the leader. In fact, he is the rightful person. You so we are talking again. about Her Excellency and the husband, the Mister uh, Her Excellency. Excellency, Ramandi, Jamaica. Anyone, anyone, anyone. Thank you very much. Anyone. So if the, he was here. The husband, we would have given to her to him. He's yes. here now. If he was here okay. when we started, we would have given him the color not first, but he came in in between. So we are still according him the respect this time around. So the color not is going to travel to the prince. Number one, he will get one. So he delta. That is number one. He will get two. I said the door. Oh yeah. Forward march. Because he came late. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Northern part of Nigeria. Babangida, IBB. It is a good analysis. IBB, if not anybody from the Western region, Taiwo and Go, where are they? Western region of Nigeria. Anybody from the Western region? Okay. Um, anybody from South South? South South, Edo, yes. Mr. Taiwo. Mr. Taiwo, come now. I will get you one and you. Eh, open the door. Keep going. Artificial. Thank you. Thank you very much. Professor Jaguna is here. Um, where is uh, Professor Jaguna? Where is he? Not yet around. So thank you very much. Um. HM9 I got to in Nigeria. Eh, I got to Northern region, got Western region, got South South, and the South East. Mommy, I'm ready to try where we did not touch. One for you. One for me. Yes, one for your president. Only one. One for all the diplomatic the head of the operation. Take another one. Take another one for your president. Diplomatic committee. Okay. Is it okay? Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very our dear president, one corner. Only one corner. Thank you very much. President. Thank you very much. Mama no. Mama no. Yahwa. That's a good man. You don't need a man of war. Thank you very much. Yaman. Yaman. Rastaman. Ivy. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Um. All the companies available, they, our sponsors. I don't know. All our sponsors, their representatives. Please, if any of the representatives of our sponsors, you can come forward for your own color note so that you can take it forward to your company and show our solidarity with them. And uh, President of Igbo people in Jamaica. Yes, Paul Wachugo. Eh, Oyamba, come closer. Chief Anedu will take last, then and bless the owner. Chief, who are going to move? We take the boy to the car. No, no, hold, just hold. We have we have said so many things here, yeah, you know. The cola does not speak English. That is one. 
do and will add to some of the things. When as a Diorama came in, we wanted to extend Kola to him. Because our people say that you can't go to somebody's house and be bigger than him. When you come to somebody's place, you have to respect him. He has to. In fact, he gives me the, 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 the permission to break the color. The right to break the color should really be him. He is. So, just as we say that Kola does not speak English, I will go back to blessing of the occasion and the people around praying with the Kola. Never in my mind. You go queen. You go queen. Where's one? I need your time, I can give you. Um, the Mulegan at the Okay. I need your Makilish. We have come to celebrate our new year. Malanda. I win. I got you. We ask the Lord. No, you need to be a lot. Everybody who have assembled here today. They are, since they have come safely, they are going to go safely. He said. He said. And when they can end with our worship, we thank all the people who brought this call or not. Our people says whoever brings call or not brings life. Where there is call or not, there is life. We use this color not to pray. Um, this is an update in our place. So wherever um, we accommodate everyone, if you do not accept your brother to leave, it means you are not going to leave. So if you say my brother will leave, you are going to leave. My sister will leave, you are going to leave. That's what it means. If I get no whatever we do shall be progressive. It will be good for everybody. It will be good for visitors and the indigents. Are you willing to see the Nigerian in the United States of America? I make a little money for more money and wear them to wear now. And we pray and thank God that this New Year festival will go well. And we pray that God will continue to keep us so that next year we shall celebrate again. Amen. And I can't drink club. It's not easy. It's not everybody that used to handle microphone. I know a friend of mine. Immediately you hand him over microphone. What you'll be hearing is M um, M. Um, that is M um, M um, M. Um, that is and that's the M. So as I'm breaking the color, the people who have their color should break their own color, and then we share. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that is Lisa. Thank you very much. Yes, so if you have the color and you are here present, please break your own. Yeah, the chief priest has already done that. And uh, where we are, the president of our association. Yes, sir. Share the color. Yes, sir. And um, the president of our association, Mr. Paul Wachuku, please come forward. He will burn Boy. I am so glad to see the caliber of dignitaries that have gathered here tonight. And um, what 
I'm going to do now is what they have asked me to do as I am representing a group of people called the Igbo tribe in Nigeria. I-G-B-O. I go before others. That is what they say the acronym represents. And as a matter of formality, I am using this opportunity to actually welcome all of you to this Iriji festival. And as I am standing here, I am standing on behalf of the people of Igbo tribe in Nigeria. They are people who are welcoming, they are brotherly, they are accommodating, and they are loving. So, as we have come to celebrate this year, I want to officially ask all of you to please sit back and enjoy everything that comes with this celebration because it comes only once a year. The next time we're going to have this is another year from today. So as you are here, it is not everyday activity. It is just once a year program. So as you have come today, please feel free to relax and enjoy yourself. Once more, welcome to this epic occasion. And um, right now, I am going to give you a little insight of, of the Iriji Festival in Igbo land. The New Year Festival of the Igbo people is an annual cultural festival by the Igbos held at the end of the rainy season in early August. Yes, you might wonder, it is early August that we usually do this because we wait until the end of the rainy season. But we are here in Jamaica, even though we don't plant yams here, but all of us who are here from Nigeria, especially all of us from the Igbo tribe, have come here for one um, thing or the other, which is we have jobs, some of us are medical doctors, some of us are nurses, some of us are into um, lab scientists and optometry and so many other um, um, hand, um, out, out of life. And so as we are here, that is our own yam um, family. So the Iriji festival practiced throughout West Africa, especially Ghana and Nigeria and other African countries beyond beyond symbolizing the conclusion of harvest and the beginning of next work cycle. The celebration is a very cultural based occasion tying individuals, Igbo communities together as essentially agrarian and dependent on yam. That means the Igbo people are people who have yam as a kind of the reverence yam as their uh, main produce. They produce yam. There's a particular yam in Nigeria they call Gionicha. If you happen to go to Nigeria, ask for that yam, Gionicha. If you eat it, you will know that this is something different. Usually at the beginning of the festival, the yams are offered to the gods and the ancestors first before distributing to the villagers. The ritual is performed either by the elders in the community or by the king or anyone in the world. The man who performs this also offers the yam to God and deities and ancestors by showing gratitude to God for his protection and kindness in leading them from lean periods to a time of bountiful justice without them resulting in so in essence, let me round up. We are doing this as a customary program that the Igbos do all over the world to ask God and to thank God for his blessings as he has guided us from the time that there was no um, uh, farm produce to eat to the time that we are now harvesting. 
that people can now eat what they have produced, that hunger did not kill them because of no lack, because of lack of food. So in essence, what we are doing now is that we are thanking God for a rich harvest which he has made possible for us. And then we do something with this year. There is something we call Mano Nri. Mano Nri is palm oil, red palm oil. That is what we eat with this year. We use it to eat the yam. And as you are going to witness tonight, you are going to have the red oil to go with the roasted yam. And this is one of the significant um, um, food that we eat in the Igbo land, that the roasted yam and the red oil go together. That red oil in Jamaica, I don't think they know much about it, that it comes from the palm front. So we are going to do that tonight. And again, we are sharing with you what God has blessed us with. As a matter of fact, I said, we are here, we are not producing yam. But what we are doing is a symbolic action that we practice in Igbo land, that after the end of the harvest, we share the, um, the, the produce from the farm to our friends and all those who, are, who have helped us to farm or to make the harvest rich. So we share whatever we have um, reaped from the harvest with them which we are going to do here tonight. Finally, I will say thank you all for being part of this year's New Year Festival. As many people will say in Igbo land, Oyasuru Ose Sobasienni, which means he that founded or grinded the pepper is among those that cook the food. So as you have come tonight, you have also been part of the Yam farming and Yam um, harvesting, and which we are all here tonight to thank God for. So once more, God bless you as you sit down and relax yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Now, in the diplomatic circle, we always have the order of protocol. But in tonight's activity, the order of protocol is a bit different, whereby we are going to acknowledge the chiefs first. You sure? So, yeah. <laughs> so I will start with uh, is now number. Is it your number? One is the number. Okay. Chief Dr. Nedu. Chief Dr. Nedu and Lolo. Good evening. Thank you. And Ochiroso. Ochiroso, 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 and his colleague that is here today. The High Commissioner of South Africa. She was the first to arrive. I, I thank you so much. The Honorary Consul of Ecuador. The representative, uh, the deputy of the Oceanic Affairs, actually, of the Russian Federation. And, um, the Head of Affairs also for the European Union and her spouse. We have our sister who has always supported us in all our functions and who not only supporting us, we are in great collaboration. And that's the CEO of JBDC.
which is the, the agricultural agency. If you are here, please acknowledge yourself. But if not, we welcome you all. So, good evening, everyone. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart on behalf of the members, staff of the Nigerian High Commissioner, or High Commission, and also the Igbo community. I inherited this event, Hello? so I cannot take credit for it. Hello? I give them Hello? all the credit. Hello? I appreciate all the work they've been Hello? doing. Hello? But what I've noticed is that every year it gets Hello? bigger. Hello? Every year Hello? they have new Hello? innovation. Hello? Every year the, the, the community Hello? is improving on all the activities and what they're actually giving you this night is just a tidbit of what really happens back home. Back home is a whole week event and you will have Nigerians from that community come from diaspora. They will come down and have the festivity. And of course, it's a time to get to know each other if you've had a baby or you've gotten married or something has happened to you during the, the one year gap, you, you keep in touch. So it is a time of festivity, of wishing everyone well, blessing from the elders. And it's not a mistake that we're actually having it in Jamaica because again, going back to the history of Jamaica, our ancestors that were brought here many years ago, part of them came from the Igbo tribe. And so what we're trying to do today is to say, this is who you are. This is where your forefathers came from. This is what they would have been doing if they had been left at home. And nothing stops you from being part of it. And so every year when the Igbo community does this, is to say that, they want you to be part of it. They want you to understand the heritage, very rich heritage. And they are very proud people. And I'm and I'm proud also to have married from that particular community because <laughs> Having this activity is usually in September or in October, part of the heritage to see and to show what our rich heritage because I would say our in the sense that you are part of this heritage. So, learn. Some of it may be too technical, but I'm sure if you ask the Nigerian, uh, your neighbor sitting next to you, they will explain. Please feel free to ask. I am always around. But when I say it's our heritage, it means that you also need to learn about your heritage. It means that you need to travel. You need to go down to the southeast because Nigeria is huge. So what we are actually doing is just one community, the southeast of Nigeria. Nigeria is a huge country. We are a country of over 200 million people. And we have 250 ethnic groups. Of such ethnic group is what you are seeing today, the Igbo. And when we talk about the large, or we have about three largest ethnic groups, Igbo is one of them and they are the Jews of Africa. I never want to stop to remind you of that. Anything they touch, they always know how to smell the money. I don't know if they have a, a, a special stick where they, when they move, but really, when an Igbo man comes to your community, he sees the good and he invests in it. When an Igbo man comes in, he's not trying to change you. He's trying to make do with what he has found within your community. And Jamaica is such an important part of what I have seen in our history of the Nigerians in diaspora is that Jamaica has a way of attracting the learned. So you have those in the medical field, those 
uh, in the institutions, professors, just two days ago, one of ours, again, an Igbo lady, was made a professor at UTEC. So, when they move, they, go, no, 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 they, no, 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 go, they go for the best. Uh, uh. So, when you find an Igbo man, we have a saying in Nigeria, just like some people have a saying in the world that if you go to a country, you don't find a Nigerian, move out. In Nigeria, we say, if you go to a community and you don't find an Igbo man, please move on. Yes, Meaning the place is not habitable. Yes, sir. The place cannot, if they cannot find or they cannot smell the moon, they cannot find the rich soil, they will move on. And that's why it's a blessing to have them around you. And so what I'm trying to say is, Remember your heritage. This is part of the Jamaican heritage. Jamaican, our ancestors that came to Jamaica, part of them came from the Igbo land. Now you need to understand for yourself, Jamaican, why is it that anywhere you go abroad and Jamaicans are doing, they are doing so well? Your heritage. Where did you come from? And this is the proud heritage I want you to go tonight with. Everything you are going to do to eat tonight is from yam. I keep telling people that in Jamaica, yes, you grow yam, but you don't give yam the respect. You don't give yam the respect it's supposed to have. Yam back home has respect. And there's so much you can do. When I was growing up, women were not farming yam. It was a strictly man job to farm yam because it's a very difficult thing to do and those of those uh, people who are farming yam today in Jamaica will tell you how difficult it is to cultivate yam so it was left for the men but now of course we women want equal rights and so we are trying to push and we are trying to go in but it still remains the fact that we respect it with one shiba of yam in Nigeria you can feed a whole family and that's the respect. And that's why when we see the gift that God has given to us, we are telling God, thank you. If you know anything about Nigerians, you will know there's one thing we don't take, we don't joke with. We always give thanks. I always tell when I go to church that in Nigeria, church service, it doesn't matter if it's Catholic or Pentecostal, the minimum you can go to church is three hours. Minimum. And what takes the time? Thanksgiving. After the priest or the pastor has finished his work, then we come out depending. Oh, I passed my examination. Oh, my daughter did her uh, uh, sat and made all A's or made some. At least she passed. We come and give thanks. Yes, sir. And then during every church, we have harvest. And we bring our produce, whether it's your pen. Because you are you are you are in the office or whether whatever it is, you are a businessman, you bring it and you tell God thank you. So what we are doing today again is thank you God for what He has done for us. So giving thanks is part of our culture. So I wish you all the best in the Igbo community. I thank you for making us proud. Thank you. And I thank you for keeping it going because without you. We in the mission cannot do this. We need you to be able to show. Because if we do it, say, oh, you are a government official. But this is the community that lives with you. They and all Nigerians who live here are the true ambassadors. I come, I go, but they are here with you. They coexist with you, and then you know the true nature of a Nigerian when you interact with them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, mommy, number one. The Igbo community, we are happy you are our wife. That is number one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, guys, okay. Um, DJ, over to you. Okay. They're here. Okay. 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 Okay.
I like black is beautiful and I will go there for it. So if you like black is beautiful or any other thing, go down there. The high moments when you come to an occasion. Okay, the dance do not come at every time. It comes at a ceremonious, cultural ceremonious festivities, just like Iriji festivals. And this Ogele dance, it echoes the sound or the calling of our great grandfathers, our ancestors. You are going to hear different sounds. Each sound signifies something, something very important. It could be calling the God of the Yam, the God of the land, the God of our ancestors. And in our culture, there is something that is often misunderstood. Um, we, they say we, uh, we, practice it, we practice monotheism or only polytheism. But our culture is a mixture of poly, mono, polytheistic culture. This means that we have one God which we call Chiuku. And we also have, just like in Christianity, we have angels. That's so this mono polytheistic culture is a mixture of one God, one central God, that is big God, Chiuku, and then he has many other gods, which we can, in a literal term, angels. And these angels, we call it Tiana. Yeah, well, this, this Yam festival, it has a God for it. We have a God for rain. We have a God for thunder. So the Igbo people do not worship different God. We worship Big Chi, that is Big God. And this Big God has angels. So this sound you are hearing will be echoing different kinds of sounds. And 
Each one will be echoing God of thunder, God of the rain, God of the land, God of New York Festival. So you, I'm going to call one person to identify for me which kind of sound you hear today. Please listen attentively. Oh
express their pleasantry to everyone so you can say hi to them as they pass it across.
before we go to church to receive the sacrament of mortuary money, we must first of all do the one at home. Very, very important. We we'll call our brother before we go into that. The bride and the bridegroom, the groom family get ready. The bride family get ready. But before we go into that, may I hand over the microphone to our dear brother, the prof indeed, the chairman of the organizing committee, Richard Dibo in Jamaica 2018 a young prof in our midst today to come and talk to us a little bit about uh, traditional marriage. Professor Chukwe Meka Mokot. Iko, please. Hello, are you entertained so far? Yes. Are you enjoying yourselves? Yes. I know you are hungry. You know, we have a game plan this evening. The game plan is that we want to wear you out we want to burn up all your calories so that by the time we are feeling the calories, you can go home and have a good night rest. Do you think it's a good plan? No. All right, the food is going to come soon. <laughs> okay, we are going to the next stage of the program. The organizing committee, come on, come closer. We are going to the next stage of the program, and remember that anytime we do our image ceremony, it is also an opportunity for us to showcase our culture, to tell our people about the dignity of yeah. what we stand for. And today, we are going to be doing a mock wedding. Now, like the MC just said, when it comes to our tradition, we value our traditional wedding. It actually is one of the highlights in a lady's life, in our culture. Now, I was telling my students once that, of course, if you look at Nigeria, Nigeria is made up of so many tribes and so many regions. Now, there is a tribe up in the north. And if a young man decides to get married, the people will call him to the marketplace and they will bring some hefty men who are going to flog him and he dare not cry. Because if he cries, he has lost his wife. And you know what? I actually think we should start that kind of thing in Jamaica. Don't you think so? You don't think so? Because let me tell you guys, if you are able to stand all those strokes of pain for a lady, if you are able to stand all those strokes of pain without crying for a lady, what is she going to do to you that make you cry? Even she maxes away your credit card, are you going to cry? No. When you think about what you are going through, but this evening, we will be showcasing a mini mock wedding. And what we are trying to portend here is to tell us that in our culture... Hello? 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 And in our culture, when it comes to marriage, marriage is between two families. It is not the boyfriend and the girlfriend. Marriage is between two families. And because it's between two families, we are going to see in the event this evening that sometimes the bride and the groom do not even have anything to say during their wedding. We are going to see that it is not only a contract, but it's also an opportunity of solidifying the relationship between families. And this evening, we want you to watch because the MC will be also running a commentary during the wedding. And what we want you to actually watch is to you for you to see the stages that are involved in this marriage. Right from the stage that involves the knocking on the door, to the carrying of the wine, to the consummation of the wedding. Those are very important cultural antecedents. And that is what we want to showcase in this year's region. So I actually gave, I actually want you to actually observe, observe, watch and learn. It is not only, we're not trying to do Nollywood here, but it is something that you can learn so that when you go home, you can be able to tell people that I learned something today from Ndibo's Energy 2019. Don't worry about the food, the food will soon come. 
But I want you to watch, to learn, and to enjoy. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Mutacha. And uh, why can't we clap for him? It's not easy.